the Hootmaster Infant Station, which is this right here. The Hootmaster Infant Station, which is this right here. Hello creators and welcome back. I hope you're having a great day and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. My name is Shayna and today you're watching Kraus Creations. The topic of discussion today is gonna be the Hootmaster Mighty Hoot Infant Station. So the style of this video is gonna be slightly different than my normal videos. I'm mainly gonna be talking to you about this product. All right, so a lot of people have questions about the infant station, what size is it, what all can you hoop on an infant station, like why do do I actually need an infant station? Today's video is going to be slightly different than my normal videos. This is not going to be um, a tutorial or a review on a product. This is going to be straight up educational. So today we're talking about the Hoop Master Mighty Hoop Infant Station. So first thing is a lot of people are confused about what a Mighty Hoop is. So a Mighty Hoop, this is what this is right here. A Mighty Hoop is the magnetic hoop that you're gonna be using on this device right here. So whenever I refer to anything called a Mighty Hoop, I'm talking about the two pieces that are magnetic that we're gonna be using on the infant station. So what is a hooping station? So the hooping station is this device that you see right here that you're gonna be using your Mighty Hoops with in order to hoop your garments nice and tight. So this is the Mighty Hoop and this is the Infant Station Hoop Master. If you decide to purchase the Hoop Master Infant Station straight out the box, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this piece right here. But in order for this to work, you're gonna need to purchase the adjustable fixture. And these two pieces right here, this is called the Infant Station Adjustable Fixtures, right? You're not gonna be able to utilize your Mighty Hoop without, well, could you? Yeah, no, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to, yes, okay. Hold on, yeah, I wanna make sure I know what I'm talking about first. So the complete set in order to make this work, I believe would be the Hoopmaster Infant Station. You need your Infant Station adjustable fixtures, which are these two right here. And then you're also gonna need a Mighty Hoop. And you can purchase the Mighty Hoop in any of the sizes. Today, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you various sizes that you could use with this device. So, hang tight. So, this is the device, this is what it looks like. This is the Infant Station. And I'm just gonna turn it around so you can see what it looks like. You got some really strong legs here. This is the back, you have some really strong legs. You have four rubber feet here. And I like that because it makes it so it doesn't like wobble while you're trying to hoop your garment. On the front, you see that there's different numbers that you're gonna use for you know your placement of your adjustable fixtures. The width of this, this is about 8.5 inches wide. And it comes with these two pieces right here. Hopefully you can see it. These are some nice and big thumb screws that you're gonna use to decide whether or not, what angle do you want your hoop station at. So when you turn your device over, you're gonna see three little holes on the side and you're gonna use your thumb screws to decide, well, your thumb, th your, your thumb screws are not gonna decide, you are gonna decide, but what's gonna help keep the legs in place are these thumb screws. So, at the highest point you see, we're gonna show you, I'm not gonna put the, um, I'm not gonna actually put it into place yet. I'm just gonna show you the three different heights that they can go. So this is gonna be the tallest height. So, if you're hooping your item, it would be at this angle. So this right here, this degree, this kind of looks like a 45. Let's see, that would be 90. Yeah, this kind of looks like a 45 degree angle. And let's say, let's see. So if you were hooping your garment and you wanted to see it like that, this is an example of what it would look like. 
this is at the highest angle. And if you wanted it at the second highest angle, this is the size. This is the angle that you would see it at. That's what it looks like right here. Right? Or maybe you're hooping something where you don't want an angle at all. Right there. And this right here is the infant station at a no angle. So this is it just nice and flat. So this is what it looks like. So my preference I would say would be at the second angle. All right, and all you're gonna do once you have decided which one you want, you're just gonna go ahead and take your thumb screw. You're gonna put it at right there. And this little metal part is, and the other little metal part is gonna go on the other side of the thumb screw. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I went ahead and made it tight. I just tight tightened it with my fingers. I didn't use any tools or anything like that. Super easy. And so this is the angle that we're going to be using it at today. So this is the Mighty Hoop Infant Station. And just a quick recap, this is your Mighty Hoop Infant Station. In order to make this work, you're going to want to purchase the Mighty Hoop Infant Station Adjustable Fixture, which are these two right here. and it's gonna work. We're gonna put it on. I'll show you guys how to um, attach these in one second. And then along with that, you're gonna be using the Mighty Hoot size of your choice. And this right here, this is the 5.5 inch Mighty Hoop, and this is the crowd favorite when working with the infant station. Okay, so before I actually install it into the device, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about it first. the way. What is, oh it's that right there. And we could use it, we could use this as an example. Okay, so the Mighty Hoop has two parts. It has the top part, that is this part right here, and then it has a bottom magnetic part, all right? So whenever you're working with the Mighty Hoops, you always wanna make sure that this fat part right here, this fat part, we'll say, we'll call it the nub, right? So this fat nub right here, ah, the nub sounds gross. Let's think of another word. Okay, so first I wanna talk to you guys about the actual Mighty Hoop. So the Mighty Hoop is the magnetic hoop that comes in two parts. This is the bottom part and this is the top part. So the bottom, when I say bottom part, it's the part that has a coarseness to it. Like, I hope that you guys can hear this. So it has a coarseness to it. This is gonna be the part that's gonna be underneath your garment. And then this is gonna be the part that is gonna be on top of the garment, all right? When you are looking at the bottom part of the Mighty Hoop, this is gonna be the actual bottom. This is this white part with the label that says warning, the white part, it's nice and smooth. That's gonna to be towards the ground, all right? So there is actually a top and a bottom to the Mighty Hoops, even though it might not look like it, there is. So there's gonna be this fat part right here. This fat part is always gonna be pointing towards your belly button whenever you're actually hooping the machine. 
the fat part goes towards your belly button. So it's gonna go towards my belly button like this whenever I'm hooping the machine, all right? So just keep, just remember that the fat part goes towards your belly, all right? And then when you're looking at the top part of the Mighty Hoop, you see that there's gonna be a warning label and then there's other markings such as like this one right here, it says 5.5 inch Mighty Hoop and it'll just let you know um, different warnings that it's a strong magnet and to keep away from your computer to keep it away from your discs and your hard drives don't use this product it around pacemakers so those are your warning signs but whenever you're hooping it into the machine whenever you're actually like placing the hoop into the machine the orange warning sign is going to be furthest away from you so you might get confused like i don't i don't i hooped my like let's say something that doesn't have a top would be like if you're hooping a towel you hooped a towel so it doesn't matter if you put it in right side up or upside down or however you want to call it right it's a towel but the way that you would know that you're putting it into the machine the correct way is because you're going to be able to read the warning label so if you're looking at this mighty hoop if you can read the warning label like it's not upside down that means that you are putting it into the machine the correct way so here's my machine right here right this is mach hello machine machine right here if i could read the orange warning sign that means i'm putting it into the machine correctly and if we did actually Here's the top of the, here's your top of the hoop, and then you have your garment, and then this is the bottom of the hoop. I know that the fat nub, remember the fat nub that we were talking about? The fat nub is going to be pointing towards my belly button, so that's how you're going to remember. Um, and whenever you're doing applications, such as applique, or anything where you actually have to continually um, remove the hoop from the machine, whoop, Watch out now. Whenever you're actually removing the hoop from the machine, the way that you're gonna to remember to put this in the correct way is that you're able to read the warning sign, all right? So if I accidentally turn it upside down and I can't read the warning sign, well, I can read it, but I'm reading it upside down, then I know, okay, my project is gonna be jacked up, so I just need to turn it around and then put it back into the machine arms. All right, so one of the topics that I did wanna hit is this adjustable fixture the adjustable fixture hardware all right so this is what the adjustable fixture hardware looks like the bottom here has thumb screws as well and that's what you're going to be using to adhere it to the infant station you have your two thumb screws here that's what you're going to be using to adhere it to the infant station so the black teeth that you see right here, it's going to be used to hold your stabilizer in place. This is just a piece of cutaway stabilizer. So I'll show you an example of how that works. All you do, you just get your stabilizer, you put it down, and you close the teeth. And it really does a good job of holding your stabilizer in place. As you see, it's being held up like that. And then also, this piece right here has your two, the two pieces right here also is going to hold your stabilizer in place. So if you see this blue piece right here, this, let me get the bottom of my hoop here. So there, there's two settings. There's a setting right there and then there's a setting right here. Let's say if you're hooping something and you're just trying to hoop it really fast and you, you don't, you're not too worried about this hoop coming out of place, then you would keep it in this top setting like this, right? So that means I hooped my thing and I just want to hurry up and rehoop, rehoop, take it out, do my project, come and do it, keep my project. But maybe you're working on something where you don't want your hoop to move, right? So when it's in here like this, it's kind of like locked into place. I hope you guys can see this, but it's really locked into place. So I'll try to get closer here to where you guys can see it. position here and then your other position here so you have the part here right here you can see that the teeth are kind of hanging down so that your hoop doesn't move out of place and then here 
you have it to where this blue part is sticking up to where it's not your hoop is not going to be catching on anything so before i just hurried up and just jumped into hooping a garment i actually wanted to talk to you guys about what are we even working with so this right here this is the infant station adjustable fixtures right you're going to need to purchase this along with the hoop so you're going to need to purchase that along with the hooping station of your choice. So at this time, the company does have three different sizes. This right here, this is the infant station. There's also a medium station, which is a little bit larger. And then you're going to have your actual, the big daddy, the hoop master station. So that's the one that you're going to use for your adult tees, your women's tees, um, anything. You could also hoop other items on that as well. But today we're just talking about the infant station. So we're going to go ahead and install the adjustable fixture pieces onto the infant station. But I did want to let you know that this part right here that my left hand is on, this part right here catches on to the fat part that we talked about before. And this is going to be on the other part. So you're wondering, is this, do I install it like this? Or do I install it like this? Totally up to you depending on what garment are you actually going to be embroidering on. So depending on the garment, and I'll have to show you on a bigger hoop. So, so this would be an example of a bigger hoop, right? So this right here, this, this hoop right here, this is, so this is the five by five hoop and this is the eight by nine hoop. So you're gonna want that nub part closest to your belly. So depending on whether or not you are the embroidery machine and I'm hooping this right here into you, where the opening, like let's say if you're doing something that only opens on one side, like a grocery bag, the way that you're hooping this grocery bag or this tote, you're gonna make sure that the opening is closest to the camera, right? To you guys, to this right here, the opening, you're not gonna be able to embroider on the closed side of the bag. And I hope that I'm making sense to you right now, but if I'm not, I'm gonna be showing you a visual in like five minutes, okay. So I just want you to know that you are the person that's in control whenever you're deciding the actual placement on where you wanna put these pieces, right? So let's go ahead and put them on. Yes, there are guides on the internet that says, okay, place, it at number 13 or place it at number 11 for this size garment but I think the best thing for you to do is just to play around with it and get comfortable with it so that you can't blame the device for having an error if you embroidered something too low or if you embroidered something too high if you play around with it and see where exactly okay if I place this part of the device right here if I place this part of the mighty hoop here then this is where it's gonna fall um, I think that when you are in control of it and you're the person that says okay I think it looks better here then you're gonna you're just not gonna need to look at those guides or those numbers or those whatever you're kind of just gonna know so you're gonna go ahead and take the top part and go ahead and it's so easy like see this right here it just slides up slides up and slides down so for this, we're just going to go ahead and put it here. I'm not putting it on a specific number. I'm just placing it on there. I'm going to decide where I'm going to place it after I put the shirt on it. So this is what it looks like when a garment is on it. So right now, we're not actually hooping it. We're just deciding where the placement of the Mighty Hoop is going to go. So... That looks pretty good. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just loosening up the thumb screws on the bottom and then I'm gonna push it up. I'm pushing it up a little bit so I know that it fits nice and tight. So this is all I did. I put the top part on, I put the onesie on it. Just all I'm doing is trying to see where it's gonna fall, right? This is the mighty hoop here, the magnetic part. And I'm gonna take it off. Tightened it up. Okay, so you're just gonna open up these black parts. Get your stabilizer. Okay, if your stabilizer doesn't go all the way to the bottom part that's totally fine as long as you know that your stabilizer is going to cover the entirety of the magnetic hoop right so I know that the size of this stabilizer is going to cover the entirety of this five and a half 5.5 5 
inch mighty hoop. So you have that just like that. Get your garment. This is a six month onesie. And you're just gonna cover it up just like that. When you're looking at it, you see that there is a blue line right here. If you can see, there is a blue line right here. You're gonna use that to help you with centering. If you're not too familiar with where the actual center of a onesie is, if you have your onesie, all you have to do is fold it in half and then iron it. And then whenever you put your garment onto the hooping station, then you can see there's the blue line and then make sure that your crease that you put into the garment is just going nice and straight down. And then you could use different things for references. So you have your two um, screws right here in the center of it. You could put like a little Sharpie marker here and then you know that the blue part right here is where your um, center is. Just follow that crease all the way down and then just make sure that it lines up with wh whatever. You could use a piece of painter's tape, you could use a Sharpie, whatever you're using to make that into a nice straight line. Then you know you'll have your center. But honestly, the hooping station is so, um, like I feel like the hooping station is so advanced that you really just don't even need to use all this extra tools to make it straight. Like you literally just put it on. Okay. It's straight. I didn't even put, I'm so silly. You have to put that part in first. Hello. You put that down. And then you put the onesie in there. Most of the garments have a seam down the side of it, so like that. And you could just line that up with the sides of the hooping station. And then remember, the fat nub is up here, so this fat nub is gonna be closest to your belly button. So that means that when you're looking at this, the orange warning sign is gonna be furthest away from you. And then I know that this is the way that it's gonna go. The fat nub is here, and the orange warning sign is here. All you have to do is just, in a nice smooth motion, just go ahead and rub that, don't rub it, kind of just like swoop it, swoop it in front of the magnetic part. So this is what we're gonna do. Just like that, and just like that, it was hooped. And you're just gonna pull it out, just like that. I'm being super gentle with it because I'm recording, but no, you wouldn't actually have to be that gentle with it. So hopefully you guys can see this, how nice and tight it actually hooped. And let's see, what else do I want to tell you guys about this? Okay, so yes, I did want the visual. I wanted to show you guys the visual. So whenever I was talking about how the warning sign is going to be closest to the machine and then the fat nub is going to be closest to your belly button, right? So the neck of an infant garment is very small, right? And the bottom part where the diaper is is going to be open wider than the top. So I know that if this was the embroidery, part of the machine, right? The embroidery arm, and this is like the metal part where the hooping station is gonna attach to it, right? I know that this is gonna be moving a whole around, blah, rewind, that this is gonna be moving around a lot, right? It's been going like this. If you were to have this hoop the other way and have the arm here, you're actually gonna be stretching out the, the neck part of the garment, and you don't want that. That's why you wanna make sure that it is oriented correctly that the part that's gonna be closest to the machine is the widest part. So for example, if you had a larger tee, and I'm giving you guys examples so that you guys can understand the Mighty Hoops better, right? And that's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to teach around here. So let's see if you can see that. Okay, so yes, yes, you guys can see that. So you have your neck part of the garment, you have your bottom part of the garment, and this bottom part of the garment opens so wide, right? It opens so wide. So I know that when I hoop this, that I'm gonna want this part to be the part that's closest to the embroidery machine, because I know that it's gonna be going, moving a lot like that. So, pop quiz time, just kidding. I know that I would want this neck part to be furthest away from the machine because I don't want my neck part to be getting stretched out from the machine. So if you're gonna be using an eight by nine inch Mighty Hoop on this shirt, 
I would want the fat nub to be closest to the neck part and that I would want the warning sign to be closest to the machine. So this is exactly how it would be hooped, just like that. So hopefully now you guys know how to hoop a garment using the 5.5 inch Mighty Hoop, using the Hoopmaster Infant Station Hoop, also using the Infant Station Adjustable Fixtures, which are these two parts right here, which I hope that I explained to you thoroughly. If you happen to have any questions about any of the Mighty Hoop products, the Mighty Hoop or the Hoopmaster, any of the sizes or any of the other products offered by Hoopmaster Mighty Hoop, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also, you can call the phone number that I'm gonna go ahead and put on the screen right here. If you decide to purchase any of these products, go ahead and give them a buzz and use my code, which is Krause Creations, and you'll get free shipping on your products. Okay, so now you know how to use the infant station using the 5.5 inch Mighty Hoop. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few other sizes of hoops that you could use whenever you're um, hooping children's clothing. So the way that you're gonna take this apart, you remember the fat nub that you had here? And there's gonna be a cutout on all the Mighty Hoops. The 5.5 happens to have two cutouts, a cutout on the top and a thumb cutout on the bottom. So you're just gonna take your fat part right here, place one of your thumbs on it, and then you're gonna use your other hand to just go ahead and pull it apart like that. Okay, so that was the 5.5 inch. Another popular size. So this was a little onesie. This is actually a six month onesie. So the infant station works with all of the Mighty Hoops, except for the, the ones that are circle. So if you see the magnetic hoops that are circle, uh, maybe you special ordered it, it's not gonna be compatible with this device, okay? So you will go ahead and have your top and you know that for the bottom of the 5.5 that it fit perfectly in there, right? Fit perfectly, this is the example of it with it locked. Okay, so that fit in there perfectly, but now we're gonna be using the, so another popular size would be this one right here. This is the 9.5 inch Mighty Hoop and it is rectangular and I think that it is a good size for baby gowns. So if you remember, you have your fat nub here, right? And you're gonna want this part to go here. You see it's not the right size, right? So all you're gonna have to do is just loosen up your thumb screws hold it so that it doesn't jump off on you. It's a little bit off. So, an easy fix to that. Lift that up a little bit. We're gonna just go ahead and put this at the end. You're taking your bottom part of your Mighty Hoop and you're just going to loosen up this top part. And it just, see, it just moves so effortlessly. I'm just gonna put it like that. And that is the placement for that size. Again, this is the 9.5 inch Mighty Hoop. If you have your stabilizer, you can go ahead and pre-cut that out if you wanted to. And you just lift up this black part right here, put your stabilizer into place, and then clamp it down. All right, so we're not gonna actually be using this because I'm not actually embroidering anything. This is just a, for an example, a tutorial. But that is how you'd find the placement for the 9.5 inch one. And you have your garment here. You're just gonna go ahead and pull it down. Um, earlier, we talked about how you would find the center point. So you have your blue marking here. You have your blue mark straight down the middle here. And then you can see between these two dots here, these two screws, that would be your center. If you wanted to pre-press the halfway point of this onesie, all you would do is you would take your garment, you would find the two ends, put it nice and even, iron it down, maybe use a invisible pen or however you decide to mark your things. And then you would have that line straight down the middle. And that's how you'd make sure um, the way that I do it is that I see the edges of the garments and then I actually can feel the edges of the hooping station. So I just make sure that it matches. That I have, like if I'm going to pinch it. If I, let's see, let's 
see if I can rest it like that. If I happen to pinch this, that I'd have the same amount of pinch on this side as the same amount of pinch on this side. And I know that's, that's not like, you know, all professional or using numbers or mathematics or whatever, but basically we're just crafters, right? So you're just gonna pinch on this side, pinch on this side. It feels kind of even to me. So I think that that's a good placement. Nice and good. All you're gonna do, you're gonna make sure the fat part is towards your belly. You're gonna make sure that that warning sign is farthest away from you. So I know that this is the way that it's gonna go, right? Fat part here, orange warning sign here. And all you're gonna do is just gonna do that like, that nice smooth swoopy swoopy motion, right? So you're just gonna go just like that. Just like that, that is hooped. Nice and tight. Just kidding, that wasn't tight because there's no stabilizer on it. <laughs> and then all you're gonna do, you're just gonna lift that up just like that. Ugh, it's locked. Just like that. And this is what it would look like. Okay, so this would be the 9.5. Take your thumb, take the fat part, and then you're just gonna do like that to take it off. Okay. And then also another size that we have here, EOS, the 9.6. So to see a difference here, you can see the 9.5 and then you see the 9.6. the same. They are the same. They're the same in height. They're the same as far as height goes, but as far as width, the five is the one that we just did, and now I'm gonna show you guys the six. So, that's the top. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that part into there. And it's the exact same um, height, so you don't need to make any adjustments here. And then you'd have your garment. So, this would be this size is a 2T shirt. You're just gonna go ahead and place it nicely right on there. Find the center. It's just like putting it on a child, like when you pull their shirt down, it just goes to the center like that. Fat part, warning sign down, and just gonna go ahead and do a nice swooping motion and it the device does all the work for you just gonna lift it up and then take it off just like that again the reminder is the warning part is gonna go towards the machine because the machine has an arm that stays in a place and what's moving is your magnetic hoop and your metal arms right so if this is the machine and it's gonna be moving like this because maybe you're doing a huge embroidery project or an applique it's gonna be going like that you do not want to have the neck of your garment closest to the machine because it's going to end up wearing out the neck part and making it look crazy. All right. So that's just, maybe that's just my thing, but hopefully you guys are doing that too. Warning sign closest to the machine. All right. That was a, this is a 2T. Okay. Also, I want to show you guys, again, this is the 8.9 inch. Okay, so we can just move that down a little bit. So you see the size that we just had hooped was the 9 by 6. So this is the 8 by 9. So it's not quite the right placement. So all we're going to do is you're, I'm loosening up the thumb screws in the back. And I'm tightening up, which I don't think I've actually showed you guys those ones, so I'll show it to you now. This right here is the thumb screws. And that would be an example of the thumb screws and me moving the placement of it. Okay. So I have it how I want it, just like that.
nice and tight. Open it up, Put, get your stabilizer. Make sure your stabilizer covers the entirety of the magnetic hoop or else your garment is not gonna be nice and tight, just like that. This is a larger tee. This is a child's extra small. So it's not in the um, it's not in the toddler sizes anymore. Now we're in the youth sizes. This is an extra small. I'm just gonna hoop your shirt. Put that on there. This is the nub side, this is the skinny side, warning side. The opening, you want your opening of your, you want the large opening of the t-shirt to be closest to the machine arm. All you're gonna do is just this little swoopy swoop and it hoops your thing and you're just gonna take it out just like that. This is a youth, extra small, using the eight by nine Mighty Hoop. And then, so the last thing that I want to show you is a project that I was working on for myself. Well, it's a gift for somebody, but something that I was working on. And it is... Oops, right here. So it's this project right here. This is just on a black tote bag. It is an applique pumpkin. And I used the 8x9 inch Mighty Hoop to hoop this project. I posted it to Instagram and you guys gave me a lot of positive feedback on it. So thank you guys for that. I know that I haven't been as active on my social media, but I'm working on that, guys. So thank you for your patience. So this is an 8x9 hoop. Again, That is, this is just a black tote bag that I hooped and I used an applique project. If you're looking for the specific design, this is from Creative Applique. Um, the owner of that shop, her name is Dawn. She is awesome and so this is, I just wanted to share with you guys the design that this is. how to hoop a tote bag using your infant station. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this product is very versatile. You aren't just confined to baby garments or, you know, small size shirts. You can use it for, you know, like I was showing you that it works for all the size hoops. So we're gonna be using the eight by nine hoop here. We're just gonna go ahead and put it back on there. Right, and then, so this right here, this is the black tote. This is a black tote. You can get this black tote from anywhere. This is what it looks like. This is what it's gonna look like hooped. All right, let's just, we'll just, let's just go ahead and put this little baby on right there. All right, so all you're gonna do, make sure that you put your stabilizer down, okay? And make sure that your stabilizer covers the entirety of the thing. Got the thing. Make sure that your stabilizer covers the entirety of the Mighty Hoop. All right, and all you're gonna do is just pull your tote bag or whatever bag, whatever jacket, anything that you're deciding to hoop. And just like I told you guys before about pinching the sides, you could be all precise with it and use a, a measuring tool, something like that. But I just go ahead and just eyeball it and hold it. And then I know that that's the center, all right? Or, you know, you could use the physical features that you see, like this line right here. 
You could use that and you could just line up the edge of the bag with that line if that's what you wanted. Right? Okay. And then I'm coining that. The swoopy swoop is how you hoop the mighty hoops with the swoopy swoop. All right. And then, okay, so you have your bottom magnetic hoop, you have your stabilizer, you have your garment. And then all you're going to do, again, make sure that the orange warning sign closest to the machine, this is the opening of the bag. So you know that the arm is going to be going into this part right here. And then all you're going to do is just swoop, boom, just like that. That's exactly how you hoop it. And then you pull it out. And this is how you're going to hoop a tote bag. So this tote bag is nice, nice and tight, nice and hooped, and it's ready for that project. This right here, this is a completed tote bag that was hooped with the 8x9 Mighty Hoop. And whenever I did do this project, I did use the Infant Station Mighty Hoop when I was working on it. Why? Because it just, it's so versatile and I love how it's just like cute and small. And you know, whatever size bags you have, if you have a smaller tote bag, um, we won't get into all my inventory back there, but any size tote bag, any size shirt, as you guys saw, we hooped the extra small um, youth t-shirt here with the 8x9. We hooped the 2T t-shirt um, with, I think, what do we hoop this with? I think the 9x5 or not. It doesn't matter. The 8x9 will fit on that shirt. Um, a lot of people are doing baby onesies right now, so you could do your onesies with that. And then we have a smaller onesie and we hooped that today. So I hope that this video brought you some information or some um, tools that you guys didn't know before. I hope that you continue to hang out with me and watch my future videos. I will be uploading more regularly now. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. I'd be so thankful for you if you did. And don't forget to call that number that's going to be on the screen if you are interested in purchasing these Mighty Hoops. You can always leave me any questions or comments down below and I will try my best to answer you. Alright, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!